everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Pepe again, and we're gonna give him a bath. He's already brushed out. So, first we have to wet his coat, then we'll shampoo him. Let's get started. <laughs> wet our dog before we shampoo him. That way the shampoo can lather up nicely and distribute throughout the hair and the skin nicely. I am going to do his body first and his, and his head last so that he's not shaking all the time. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with his foot. And his armpit. I like to go section by section, that way I know that Every little inch of him is has been shampooed. And that way he can smell nice. So his arm, his armpit, maybe getting his chest and his underbelly. <laughs> like this too much because he does have a longish coat and I don't want to create any knots in it so just with your fingertips give him a nice rub but not not to the point where you're knotting up his coat okay so that's nice and lathered then we're gonna go uh, to do his foot. Get in between his paw pads. Really good. Get everything nice and clean. Good. His other foot. In between his toes. So as I mentioned before, Pepe is a poodle mix. So he has a curly coat. So always make sure to brush out curly coats before, actually any coat, before you get him in the bath. Because if he has knots or mats, they will only get tighter. <laughs> grab 
that ear, make sure no water gets in there. So we're gonna pinch his ear canal. And get the back of his ear on the front. Then we can let go and do the same on the other side. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Here is his ear canal. We're gonna pinch it closed. Not too hard, just enough so that no water can get in. And then we're gonna carefully put some water. part of his ear. Then we're gonna open up. We're gonna get this part in here because this part is always, always greasy. I'm gonna put some shampoo in there, but making sure not to get shampoo in here, okay? We're only putting on this spot. Same thing on the other side. water or any kind of shampoo or soap or anything in your dog's ear is to put some cotton balls in there so that anything that can get in there gets absorbed by the cotton ball or just pinch the ear canal either one is fine we're gonna get these little eye boogers out. If your dog has really hard to get eye boogers, always soak them first. And then you can just comb them out. If you try to rip off those eye boogers, you can rip off their skin, okay? So be very careful with that. They're very sensitive areas. <laughs> Just with that leftover shampoo. And now we're gonna rinse. So Well, 
the paw pads because we did get quite a bit of shampoo in there. Make sure to rinse thoroughly. Never leave shampoo on his coat because it itches. And I mean, wouldn't you itch too if you left soap on your skin and then went out in the sun? Yeah, I think you'd probably itch a little bit. So, rinse well. water in the ear canal because if you leave it there it can cause infections and ear infections on a dog is horrible I mean we always look for the well-being in a pet the other way around so always make sure to be careful where you place your water all those curls.
then rather than, you know, rubbing that towel into his coat as I would do on a short-haired breed, I'm rather just scrunching it up on his body so that it absorbs the water. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that towel on the floor. 